let me show you today how I varnish my acrylic paintings. The paintings that I really want in a glossy finish. I don't want to resin this one. I don't resin pieces on canvas. That's always too risky with it sinking to the middle. I prefer always a wood canvas. Um, my big pieces on acrylic paint, with acrylic paint fluid art, I get varnished in the outdoor body shop. That does like even a better finish than the Liquitex. But many are doing, working with brushes or with those foams and then stretching it over and over and over. Several layers and an end. I'm a person that has no patience at all. So um, I've been doing that in the past and I haven't been doing it in a good while because in Germany I use a spray varnish that works perfectly. Here in the UK I don't get that spray varnish. So back to my basics. That's how I finished several paintings up before. And yeah, we just see how that goes. So, here yeah, we use the Liquitex Gloss Varnish. We literally just pour a good amount in. We are in the air bubbles and what we do now as the messy boys would say tilting time we do that with our varnish as you can see I wrapped up my sides with a, um, a tape So what I do now is everything I don't need on this piece goes on my other piece. So that way now I take it off. Just make sure you're not working in the nicest room um, right next to the furniture and couch of your boyfriend or husband. He might just kill you. But I don't think he's watching actually my YouTube videos, so whatever. <laughs> so now we really just tilt it off. Now do the edges. And that's it. It looks a little milky now, because that's just the liquid X varnish. Here we do it really the same. As you can see here. It won't be enough for another layer on this one. So we take this off. And tilt it really off. So this is my preferred way doing a Liquitex gloss varnish. It also works with the Liquitex satin varnish. I mean, you can work with several layers. You can go over your painting several times and wait and wait and wait. 
or just do it all together um, like this. So you need your gloves, you need a tape, and you don't need an expensive tape. It's really just to keep it in the edges. Bubbles in it. But anyway, if there weren't many air bubbles in it because this one has been standing around for a good while and don't don't really shake it. You know, just like a little bit to get so it gets in there a little bit more transparent and less milky and mixes nicely. But really don't like shake it, you know? Um yeah, I will show you how they dried, how they are finished up. And yeah, we're saving so much time doing one layer, not wasting really, because I went and did the smaller piece. Um, I save a lot of time. It's a safe way to do. You don't have any brush marks or foam marks, what can be really, really annoying and destroy pieces. And yeah, so that's my way of varnishing. I hope this helps you. As I said, you can do this with the Liquitex gloss varnish, with the high gloss varnish, or with the satin varnish. So. Very simple. Also important, make sure that your table is level. So if you decide so that you don't want to pour varnish over the whole piece, get your brush. I use a quite thick one. Actually I have even a thicker one for my bigger pieces. Um, I use the one of Liquitex. You want to make sure that you don't use real hair brushes, so it needs to be like synthetic. So those are the ones I use for my smaller pieces, this piece. And for my bigger ones, I use this Liquitex brush. It's a little bit more expensive as others. It's a middle, middle pricey one. Um, I just bought it here for my studio place in London. I have that in Germany. So I already made sure that I cleaned off the piece here. Um, I have my push pins on the back. So what we do now, let me show you. Are we all in? We pour on the edges, then a little bit around here. That's it. So what we do now, I just make sure that I have it all in from the edges. I work from the outside to the inside. At first you have to make sure that you get your brush nice and wet. And don't use too much pressure. So I really just go now from here through there, just dragging my varnish around. I really only drag it around. Just to cover my piece. So, and when it's covered, what I then do, I go over it another time and go from the outside and drag it slowly over here. Go around, drag it slowly over here with barely any pressure. Very important. Not much pressure. You kind of just want the varnish to level out itself.
Yeah, it looks quite perfect. Um, in case there are any air bubbles, what there could be when you just opened your Liquitex, I go over it with the torch. We do the sides. And yeah, then we are done. We'll have an even coat on it. And now I just put it away to dry. I will show you when it's done. So all of those pieces now have their varnish. I'm not going to resin them. And they turn out just beautiful. An even finish, no brush strokes anywhere. This was just the one layer with the brush. This one, that's one of my favorite pieces. You saw me working with the brush there. And as you can see, also perfectly finished and I don't like them too glossy so that's as they are now how I love them and yeah you can tell what my favorite colors are so as you see it's very easy I hope this helps someone and I appreciate if you leave a comment uh, leave a like maybe subscribe to my channel I really would appreciate it um, yeah, have a great day. Bye-bye.